folks. Welcome to the Dutchman's Journal again. Today I'm back in the kitchen because uh, my four hens of laying have produced an overabundance of eggs and seems that the lady of the house is not here at this time. She's out visiting her relatives. I'm here alone and I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do with these eggs. I'm sure not going to let them go to waste. So I decided to pull up one of my old recipes for pickled eggs. I remember as a young guy I used to love to go into the family bars and uh, have a nice cold one and a few pickled eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and make some pickled eggs and the ones I'm making are going to be uh, with malt vinegar. So to make them all you need is a dozen eggs. I have a nice yellow onion here and garlic. You're going to need about I'm going to say 10 cloves of garlic and some uh, malt vinegar. That's pretty much it. We're going to be putting it to a uh, regular canning jar and then we will refrigerate them. The hardest part of the procedure actually is to uh, peel the eggs. So we are going to hard boil them first. I actually have uh, uh, 14 eggs here because just decided they're kind of small eggs, so I'll go ahead and uh, use the 14. What I'm going to do is put the 14 eggs into this pan. This is a steamer pan, but I use that because uh, it's easy for me to take the eggs out of the pan and, and drain it this way. I changed my mind. I'm going to go with 12 eggs because if I put the other two eggs in here, they're going to sit on top of these eggs and I can't cover them with water properly, so I'm not going to do that. So, I got my 12 eggs and I'm going to add lukewarm water to cover this about an inch in height. To aid in making the eggs uh, peel easy, I'm going to add about 4 teaspoons of uh, vinegar. Not the malt vinegar, white vinegar. And I'm going to add mm, a little bit of salt. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat on and bring this to a boil. While I'm <coughs> waiting for the eggs to boil, I went ahead and cut up my onion and uh, sliced it into rings. And I have my garlic red ready. I'm going to go ahead and chop that up. Okay, my eggs are starting to come to a boil, so I'm going to let them boil for two minutes. My two minutes is up. I'm going to shut the heat off. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover these and I've got a lid on it and I'm going to remove them uh, from the heat and I'm going to let them uh, sit there for 11 minutes. Well I have the opportunity, my girls are in my backyard here and uh, they're out there foraging for insects and uh, these are the egg producers. I have the white sisters, Snow White, Vanna White and Betty White. And in the back is Sweetie Pie, and in the front here is Ed, the rooster, and uh, I guess he's a lucky guy. He's got four women to entertain him, and he does take advantage of that, let me tell you. And if you notice, if you've been following me, one of the, the other rooster is missing, Sugar Buns. Well, Sugar Buns is in my freezer. I had too many roosters and not enough hens, so I decided one had to go. And uh, I'll let you know how he tastes in the future. Okay, in a saucepan, I've added uh, one and a half cups of malt vinegar and three quarters of a cup of uh, water. And I decided I will put some pickling spices in this because I remember doing this one time and I really liked it. So I'm going to just put in a couple tablespoons of of pickling spice so we'll have to add that to our ingredients now I'm going to let this here uh, come to a boil and then I'll cut it down and let it simmer for about five minutes my 11 minutes are up so I'm going to bring my eggs here into the sink I'm going to go ahead and drain them and this is why I like to use uh, This is why I like to use the I can dump 
dump that out, set it on the side, dump my water out, and place these babies back in there. Put cold water, that's cold rolled water coming up. Okay, I've drained it. This is my third draining. I'm adding ice to it. Let them cool down as quick as they can. Because, the, you know, they're going to stay cooking if you don't uh, cool them off rapidly. Okay, I'm going to allow that to uh, sit in the pan for three minutes. And then over here is my little pickling spice and malt vinegar mixture. And uh, I will say one thing. It's one dynamite smell. If it tastes as good as it smells, I'm aces. Well, I brought my eggs over and I'm going to peel them. Let's see how easy this is. These are very fresh eggs and I understand that. If they're super fresh then they're hard to peel. Oh, these are going alright. Okay. I guess my formula works out pretty good because when I say these are fresh, fresh eggs, some of these were just laid today. Only in the past couple days. So I'm going to go ahead and peel these and as I'm peeling them I'm going to go ahead and place them immediately into the jar. Just to show you what I've done so far, the eggs are peeling well. Um, I've put in a layer of onion on the bottom. Then I put in uh, some garlic. I have four eggs in there. Now I'm going to put in some more onion on top of that. A little bit of garlic and I'll add another layer of eggs to the top of uh, that layer. Okay there we go. We have 11 eggs. One of the eggs didn't make it. Uh, I wound up eating it. Well what can I say. But I have 11 eggs in there. It would have taken 12 eggs with no problem. They're in layers. I put my four eggs and in a layer of onion, garlic, uh, three more eggs, onion and garlic, and then I uh, got another four eggs on the top there with onion and garlic. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, spice uh, and uh, malt vinegar. If you're going to be doing this kind of thing uh, often, I suggest that you get a funnel that fits right in the top of the wide mouth jar. That way, when you pour your mixture in, your spice mixture in, it goes in nice and smoothly. You don't have to worry about getting burnt. I want to make sure I get all those spices out. Perfect. Perfect. Now I just take my lid. Oops, I got too many lids here. I place the lid on the top and my ring. Tighten it down. I'll turn it upside down. Like that. I'll let it sit and cool that way. And uh, I turned it upside down. I'm letting it cool. So that's it for now. I'm going to let it cool down, put it in the refrigerator. I'll take a magic marker, mark the date on it, and 
as you can see I'm going to be doing some more of this maybe I'll try a different vinegar the next time now I do like the mold vinegar so uh, here's another recipe you might want to try have a good day